One mile. It's very really running, running more than that. <laughs> so I've talked to guy. Yes, yeah, talked to Luna. So oh, okay, got to come in. His dad looked after him. Yeah, two years ago. Okay. So, yeah. Why, why you chose this fundraise for us? Uh, my mom passed away there in 2014. Oh, okay. I like they were they were fantastic. So I thought I'd give something back. Like, yeah, yeah. Got to the floor, I was a bit sick of bit posting on everything negative and things and like. What can actually do that can help? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what, what did you think of Thanks Mary's? They were amazing. Like completely amazing. Like yeah. I could like they made everything. Like they made a final days perfect. So I can't really complain. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, it's great to hear. And they did a lot. They did a lot for like, my dad and my sister after as well. Like providing my sister with counselling. So again, I can't. Like they went, they went in a book deal. Yeah. So yeah, you signed up a week ago. Yeah. That's amazing. What made you want to do it? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pharmacy at University of Leicester. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's one of the fundraising things. Yeah. We go to St. Mary's Hospice as a pharmacist. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. with the nurses there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So I'm just fundraising for, on behalf of my own farm, class of 2017. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Hi, guys. That's for a high five. Um, so how did you hear about Venice Marys or like you choose to support this? Um, we did the uh, the walk oh, the, uh, earlier in the year. Yeah. Um, it's on its way way back. One of my great aunts was there. Okay. Yeah. Um, she died of cancer ultimately, but you know, they looked after her for a few weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a smaller local charity. I don't like to say it's more than Okay. Yeah, it's much national press. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, hey, thank you. I mean, it means lots of Well, I'm a student nurse. Okay, yeah. And I work at the QE. Okay, cool, yeah. And I think hospice is the best thing, you know. I don't think anyone should have to die in hospital. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the whole group of us doing it. What have you this is my first half. Okay. Uh, you have your dad who was careful by yourselves. Okay, yeah. Um, unfortunately, passed away last time for. Okay. Um, so it's to raise money for the care you gave to him and uh, and obviously one last little, you know, memoir to him in his memory. Yeah, so that's so, lovely. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he spoke very highly of you okay, <laughs> um, and the care that you gave him. Yeah. I know he was reluctant to go to the hospice initially because he thought, you know, that's it, you know, he'll be left to die there. Yeah, but sort of reputation. Um, but actually, he just went one day a week okay. and painted and met loads of friends there and really oh, enjoyed it. Oh, was that a part of your day hospice programme? Yeah. And um, and then when he was nearing to the end, he, you know, he wished to be at home and, and St. Mary's were fantastic and gave us the support over the telephone and things yeah. when his symptoms changed. Okay. So, yeah. I did say to myself at the time, I'm going to give back what, you know, you gave to him. Yeah. 